Okay, so it's January 2024 and Microsoft have been at it again. They've been releasing some bum updates and this particular update, KB503441 has been causing havoc, but we're going to show you how you can fix it. Hold tight, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, it's January 2024 and Microsoft have released an update which is refusing to install. That update is KB503441 and it's giving this error message in Windows 10. It's 0x800 70643 and basically it just won't install you can keep retrying as much as you like but it's not going to install basically it's trying to put some files in an area of the system, the recovery area of the system. And for most systems, that area just isn't big enough. Microsoft should have thought about this when they designed the update. Microsoft are saying that they are working on a fix for the problem. But in the meantime, they've issued a manual way of being able to remedy this problem, but it doesn't come without risks. So if you are prepared to try this update fix, then please make sure that you've backed up your system. Make sure you've backed up any important data. Make sure you've got a copy of your passwords and copies of apps and programs just in case you need to do a reinstall. And most importantly, that you've got a copy of Windows 10 to be able to reinstall from because I can take no responsibility for any problems that may occur by you following this guide. These instructions have been issued direct from Microsoft, but as I say, you could still encounter problems, especially if you don't follow the instructions to the letter. So if you're really not too sure and really not too bothered about this error coming up in the Windows update, then what I would say is leave it for now. Wait until Microsoft do actually issue an official update and hopefully the update will fix this problem automatically. So if you're still here and willing to follow these instructions and you've backed up your system, backed up anything important, then let's continue. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to click on the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And then when the start menu appears, we want to type C for Charlie, M for mother, D for Delta. And then you should see command prompt appear. Up the top there, move your mouse over run as administrator and then left click once. Now at this point, the screen may darken and you may see, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? We'll make sure that it says Windows command processor. Make sure the verified publisher is Microsoft Windows and then left click once on yes. You get this black window appear. Now, first of all, what we want to type is reagency, all one word, space, forward slash info, just as it's shown on the screen. Now, I'm going to try and put these commands in the description of this video so you can go down there and have a look at those. Once you've typed that, make sure that each of these commands you're typing, you double check them, you triple check them, you quadruple check them, get one thing wrong and you could trash your system. So once you're sure that that's okay, press enter or return on your keyboard and you should get this come up on your screen. And what we're looking for is just here, it says hard disk. So we wanna just see what that says there. Keep a note of that. Mine says hard disk zero. Yours may say something different, but um, hopefully in 99 out of 100 cases, it should say hard disk zero. But if yours says something different, then obviously make a note of it. The next thing we want to type is reagency, all one word, space, forward slash disable, just as it's shown on the screen press enter or return. And then if you type that command correctly, you should get this message here saying operation successful. Next thing we want to type is disk part. Again, all one word, just as it's shown on the screen, press enter or return on your keyboard. 
then once you see the disk part prompt, type list space disk. That's list space disk. Then press enter or return. And then you should see here, there you go, it says disk zero online and then the size of your hard drive and how much you've got free. Now, if you've got more than one hard drive, then this is where things might get a bit tricky. But mine was installed on hard disk zero, which is shown here as disk zero. So that's the disk I'm going to be working with. At this point, it's also worth noting whether or not there is a star beneath G P T, as you can see, just to the right of D Y N. So if you've got a star next to that, just make a note that you had a star under GPT. This becomes relevant a little bit later in the guide. If you haven't got a star, then make a note that you haven't got a star below GPT. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the disk, the relevant disk that I've got there, which is disk zero. So I'm going to type cell space disk space and then zero. That selects this disk here, which relates to this hard disk zero up there. So type that in cell space disk space zero if that's the disk you're working with and then press enter or return. And you should see there the disk is now the selected disk. The next thing we want to type is list space part, then press enter or return. The next thing we need to type is cell space part space. And then what we need to do is we need to type the number to the left of the word primary. So as you can see here, I have got the number three to the left of primary. So whatever is to the left of your word primary, then you need to type that in after cell part. So I'm going to type in there three, then press enter or return. It should then say partition, whatever number you've typed is now the selected partition. And now we need to type this command shrink space desired equals 250 space minimum equals 250. Then press enter or return. Now this may take a little while before anything comes back. So just be patient with it. Don't try and come out of it. And there you go. Then once it's completed, it should say this part successfully shrunk the volume by 250 MB. So the next thing we want to do is we want to type cell space part space and then the number that is just to the left of the word recovery on your system. So as you can see there, mine is number four. So I'm going to type number four. Once you've done that, press enter or return on the keyboard. You should get confirmation. It should say partition and whatever number you put in is now the selected partition. So now what we're going to do is we are going to delete that recovery partition. Now, don't worry, we're going to rebuild it again later. So you need to type delete space partition space override, then press enter or return. And if you type the command successfully, you should get confirmation disk part successfully deleted the, the selected partition. Now, this is where we need to know if you had a star beneath GPT. If you can't remember, if you didn't write it down, you want to double check, then here you can just type list space disk and then press enter or return. And that brings that up. As you can see, I've got a star beneath GPT. Most systems should have this beneath GPT, but if yours hasn't got a star, then I'm gonna tell you what command to type in in a minute. But first of all, I'm gonna tell you if you have got a star beneath GPT, you need to type in this command and you need to type it in very carefully. Double check it, triple check it, quadruple check it, okay? So you need to type create space partition space primary space ID equals and there's no space between ID and equals or the, the rest of this command. DE94 BBA4 hyphen 06 D1 hyphen 4D4 
four zero hyphen A one six A hyphen B F D five zero one seven nine D six A C and all the letters are in lowercase just as it's shown on the screen. As I say, double check this, triple check this, quadruple check this. Pause this video if you need to, but make sure this is exactly as I've typed it in here. Once you've double checked it, quadruple checked it, check it as many times as you like. And once you're 110% sure you've typed it incorrectly, then press enter or return. And if you've typed the command in correctly, then you should see disk part succeeded in creating the specific partition. Now we need to type in one more command. If you didn't have a star under GPT, then still hold fire for a second. I'm gonna tell you the command you need to put in in a moment. But if you did have a star underneath GPT, you do need to type this command in also. And that command is GPT space attributes space equals zero X eight. And then you need 14 zeros. That's 14 zeros and then a one. Again, pause this video if you need to double check it, triple check it or quadruple check it. Once you're 110% sure that you've typed this correctly, then press enter or return on the keyboard. And again, you should get this confirmation message if you've typed it all correctly. Disk part successfully assigned the attributes to the selected GPT partition. Okay, now, if you didn't have a star just below GPT, just up there, if there wasn't a star there, just where I've highlighted, then you need to type in this command, create space partition space primary space ID equals 27. And there is no gap between the ID equals and 27. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. And if you've typed the command incorrectly, then you should see a message that will come up suggesting that the specific partition was created successfully. Now I'm not going to type this in because I have got a star beneath my GPT. So if you've got a star beneath your GPT, then you do not need to type this in. It's only if you haven't got a star. So I'm just going to delete that out. Okay. And then finally, this applies again to everybody. So we need to type in format space, quick space, FS, equals NTFS, and there's no spaces between that, space label equals speech marks, windows with a capital W space, capital R, capital E space, tools with a capital T, and close speech marks. And there's no spaces between label equals and speech marks. And there's no space at the end of tools between the speech marks either. So just copy it just as it's shown on the screen. Double check it, triple check it, quadruple check it. When you're 110% sure you're right, then press enter or return on your keyboard. And there we go. If you've done that successfully, you should see disk part successfully formatted the volume. That's it, it's all set up, but we're just gonna check a few things finally. So, so we're just gonna type list space vol, then press enter or return. And hopefully here, we should see volume four there, should say Windows RE. And hopefully the partition should be larger than what it was early, 250 megabytes larger than what it was earlier. And as I can see, mine is. Let's just type exit to come out of disk part and then press enter or return. And we need to type another command in. We need to type in reagent C, all one word, space, forward slash, enable. So that's reagent C, space, forward slash enable, no space between the forward slash and enable. Then press enter or return. 
and hopefully after a a little while we should get confirmation there you go saying operation successful and then just type in one more command reagent c all one word space forward slash info and no space between the forward slash and info then press enter or return it should come up with this and that tells us that we have recreated the windows recovery environment so let's close this down we can either click on the cross just up the top there or we can just type the word exit and then press enter or return and let's just click retry just up there now it's going to check for updates again and hopefully this time it will install now the install does take a little while and it does take a little while to check for updates so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause this video as you can see now it's saying installing zero percent i'm going to pause this video just while it's installing and we'll come back to it when it's nearing the end of the install and there we go it just disappeared and let's just check to make sure it has actually installed so i'm just going to just going to go down and have a look at view update history and there we go as you can see it says there kb503 441 successfully installed so there you go i hope this guide helps and if it did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you want to have a look through my amazon shop or you're looking for a vpn a fire stick fire tv cube or fire stick accessories have a look in the links down below we've got some great links down there for you donating buying or subscribing really does help support this channel it helps me to be able to dedicate more time into spending researching and bringing you these great videos and whilst you're at my youtube channel why not stick around i've got thousands of other videos for you right here right now covering all sorts of subjects hopefully whilst you're here you're going to find something to educate you entertain you amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money and if you do see any videos whilst you're looking through that you think might benefit your friends your family or your work colleagues then please don't forget to share them on your social media timelines thanks very much for watching